Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Does the name Anchor mean anything to you? Depending on who you are, it could mean phone accessories, chargers, keyboards, mice, any number of things. As of recently, it also means Bluetooth speakers like the MP141 we're looking at today. This gets a ton of love on Amazon and it comes in at under 50 bucks. So we just had to check it out. Slide off the outer cover and open the box, and the first thing you'll see is the speaker wrapped in a white plastic bag. Next to it is a small cardboard box that holds the accessories, a 3.5mm audio cable, USB cable, and the manual. The MP141 is available in two colors, black and white. For this review, we're looking at the black model, though both are pretty sleek looking. The height being a little shorter than the length and width is the only thing that keeps this speaker from being a literal cube. It measures 3.2 inches wide and 2.4 inches high. It's fairly light as well, weighing in at just 8.8 .8 ounces. Though the look could have easily skewed toward the boring, instead the MP141 looks very sleek, if a bit starkly simple. The bottom has a single piece of rubber footing that runs around the entire outer edge of the speaker, which helps to keep it from sliding around despite the lack of weight. Despite the size, it feels fairly tough. You probably don't want to run over it with a car, but it should survive a trip in a backpack just fine. The MP141 doesn't feature NFC, but pairing is still fairly straightforward. Turn it on and it automatically enters pairing mode. Just select it and pair from the device of your choice and you're good to go. Anchor claims a range of 33 feet for the MP141 and I found that at that range I encountered no problems, even with a few walls in the way. But moving further away did cause the occasional dropout or stutter. If you can't or don't want to use Bluetooth, plugging the included cable into the 3.5mm jack allows you to play from pretty much anything. All of the controls are packed into a simple three button setup on the front of the speaker. The middle button pauses and resumes playback and answers and ends calls, while the other two buttons handle volume and skipping forward and backward. Speakerphone works very well with the MP141, call quality was very good and there was no excessive echo or problems with background noise. Anchor claims up to 20 hours of battery life for the MP141 depending on volume, and I found that I met this easily. Testing a speaker is fairly tough on battery life, so this was both surprising and impressive. Charge time is about what I expected, around 3-4 to four hours depending on the charger you're using. To help stretch battery life even further, the MP141 features an auto off mode that turns the speaker off after a certain period of inactivity. This isn't too aggressive and I never found the speaker turning off while I was in the middle of something. Since most people will use this speaker with Bluetooth, that's what I did during testing. I did listen to podcasts and an audiobook, but mainly I just listened to a ton of music. For a playlist of a few of the many songs I listened to, check the description. The Anchor MP141 features a 4 watt driver which may not sound particularly impressive, but given the size of the speaker, that is pretty powerful. You can only do so much at a given size, so this isn't too bassy, but kick drums and bass guitars do still have plenty of punch and presence. The port on the bottom probably helps. There is a boost in the lower mids to achieve a fuller sound here, which works in the speaker's favor, and there's a surprising lack of boxiness in the sound for a speaker this size. Highs in these smaller speakers can often be hit or miss, but the MP141 offers plenty of detail without the wispy sizzle that so many speakers this size have. One area where we found this speaker to be slightly lacking is in overall volume. It isn't quiet by any means, but if you're using this for a small party or with a group of people, you may find yourself wishing it would get a little louder. Having tested the MP141 pretty thoroughly, we can say that it definitely lives up to the hype. If you're looking to spend more money, there are bigger and better speakers out there, but for the size and price, this cube is pretty impressive. Plus, it's cheap enough that even if you buy it and find you're disappointed, it wasn't all that much of an investment. That said, we really doubt you'll be disappointed. We're giving the Anchor MP141 an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And that wraps it up for this one, everybody. If you want some more details, check out the full review over at soundguys.com. And if you have any questions, hit us up in the forums. We'll have links to both down in the video description. Need more audio in your life? Then why not subscribe? There's a button for that. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.